हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अंकित एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हियर विथ माय डेली प्रिडिक्शंस एंड एनालिसिस फॉर ग्लोबल मार्केट्स एंड कमोडिटीज इन दिस एनालिसिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ कैनलिस्टिक चार्ट्स एंड इंडिकेटर्स वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इनटू यूएस यूरोप यूके एंड इंडिया इंडिसेस एंड गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर एंड क्रूड ऑयल एंड नेचुरल गैस एज कमोडिटीज वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इन हाउ दीज मार्केट्स आर गोइंग टू बिहेव थ्रू आउट दिस डे what should be our entry what to expect what levels we can expect and what should be the stop loss so do watch till the end and remember today us markets are on a holiday and still the futures are trading in the global markets so let's start the day with gold first and don't forget to like share subscribe and comment don't forget to press the bell icon now let's see the charts for gold i am coming to a minute chart here this is a 30 minute chart and you can see on the 30 minute chart it is uh, trying to show a reversal here it means it has seen a low now it is trying to reverse how high it could go again it could try to hit 19 1901 and 1905 levels from there we will see how it behaves if it continues to drop or it continues to rise but this is just on a just wanted to show that it is trying to reverse a bit now let's have a look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts in general as we have seen see it has got its support at 1890 1890 intact on a 4 hour chart this is a support level it is seen good four green candles now has seen a massive red candle from here also remember it is also seen higher highs so 1908 which is a pivot level it is achieved this pivot level for the day also it has got its support intact at 1891 so probably it has to trade within these levels for near future means today for couple more candles we might see trading in between these levels any break below 1890 is a good level to go short and expect it to drop below how far this could drop see uh, it could come back till here this is the level which i will be looking forward to 1880 which is a strong support for gold because see this is the time we have seen a rise drop rally and after this we have seen couple more bullish candles so first support at 1890 and below that it will try to hit 1880 levels that is what is the expectation we can take our entries but let's have a look at the 3 hour charts also most of the times what we can see on gold is it always try to see four candles one red candle then uh, consolidation rally red candle from here we will see whether it consolidates and again rallies again that is what we will be observant here for definitely 1890 level going to provide a stronger support for gold breaking below these levels i will expect it to come back till towards this level at 1883 and 1880 now this is on the minor time frame charts also look at the to our chart similar is the story let's come back to the daily charts on the daily charts you will find that on the daily charts see it is trading at the top of the bollinger bands it has seen a high here got the resistance at 1908 there is a support available at 19 at 1890 if it breaks 1890 for the day then only i will be looking forward for a good shot where you can again expect it to come back till towards 1880 the first target and the nearest the next support is going to come back till here at 1870 however i don't expect that it is going to drop till 1870 at max it may try to either confine itself within this zone and trade in this channel because this is the uh, channel on the daily chart it is trying to trade in hence probably it may try to limit itself within within this zone else it may try to at max come back till towards 1880 so take your positions accordingly but let's have a look at uh, the trended price oscillate see my worry point is the uh, stochastic is overbought and it is crossed over so probably it has to drop a bit before trying to rise and that is why may drop sharply before trying to take a rise here that is why probably we might see a good break on gold also look at the uh, macd are trying to converge and r and rsi is overbought so in some Uh, these indicators are indicative that probably gold might see a break on the bulls and if and only if it trades beyond 1908 then only i will recommend you to go long else every rise till 1908 you can expect it to drop the first target is 1891 and then if it breaks 1890 it may try to hit 1883 and 1880 levels 
below 1880 the next support level will come into picture at 1870 so take your positions accordingly any long entry beyond 1908 is recommended the nearest resistance will come into picture at 1911 after that it will try to hit 1918 and 1925 levels so these levels will definitely get achieved if it continues to rise beyond 1908 levels take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at silver this is the chart for silver and if you look at the 4 hour chart for silver you can find that there is a strong support as i i always have reiterated it is trading below the support at 2380 and now it is looking for what to 2360 levels which is going to be an important support zone for silver if it has to continue trading within this zone however if you see the long term chart it is uh, on a 4 hour chart it is trying to trade within this channel breaking below this channel at 2340 is something i will be looking forward to if it breaks this zone at this here 2340 then only i will expect it to act bearish else it might continue to trade within this zone also look at this it has achieved a high of 2412 this is the number i have given it several times that it is going to be a strong resistance now also look at the behavior for silver see this is the 4 hour charts good couple green candles higher lows then resuming the bull run higher highs but the highs are not so far but still higher highs and now again dropping so we may expect couple more red candles before it tries to rise again. so possibly it may try to come back till towards 2360 and 2350 2340 zone can also be expected stochastic and rsi all levels are almost near to overbought trying to look downwards now coming back to the daily charts on the daily charts you can see here see these are the daily candles on the daily candles where the high lies for uh silver for the day only long entry is recommended once it breaks or once it goes past 2405 levels or 08 levels rather i will say go long only if you see it breaking beyond 2310 so once it breaks beyond 2310 yes i will be expecting it to that is a going to be a breakout and it is going to act extremely bullish as else uh, till the time it remains below 2410 you can remain short so 2410 is the level which i will be looking forward to and you can also look at the charts for silver it is always seen see first of all it is trying to achieve this bottom here at 2360 and 2350 zone probably it may try to hit this zone any point of time today and if it breaks this zone at 2360 2350 probably the next target level is going to be this 100 period moving average and 20 period moving average coming in between 23 uh, 20 and 23 35 in between these levels it may try to strike some point of time if not today then tomorrow possibly it may try to hit so for the day it appears 23 16 should provide a stronger resistance for it for any further drop and if it drops below 23 60 23 50 zone somewhere in between uh, then only i will consider that it is going to break 23 40 also and will head towards 23 20 23 35 zone Uh, any long entry on silver for the day is recommended only once it breaks 23 or uh, 24 10 levels the trended price oscillator is in green on the daily charts look at this the stochastic is overbought probably may try to cool down a bit and macd lines are trying to converge rsi is comfortable so in some a long entry on silver is only recommended beyond 24 10 levels till the till the time it trades below 2400 you can remain short you can expect it is going to hit 2360 and 2355 the next nearest target below 2355 you can expect 2340 and below, below that i don't expect it to break first of all 2350 2360 zone it can try to swing it a bit between 2350 60 to 2380 and 2400 in between these 40 points we may try it swinging a bit and if it breaks 23 uh, 50 you can expect to it to drop towards the next support at 23 35 and then 23 20 levels will come into picture so take your positions accordingly on silver now let's have a look at crude oil now look at the charts for gold it is almost forming double top here it is almost form double top here and the daily charts and uh, near to 91 25 levels now trading with a drop also it has got its support here at 8900 levels so only once it breaks 8900 you can again expect it to come back till towards the nearest support at 8850 and then 8800 and 
every 50 points from here it is going to get the support if it breaks below 8900 every 50 points it is going to get the support so uh, when i say 50 points it's like 0.5 dollars like right now 89.3 and uh, it can drop well below these levels but probably it may try to confine itself within this if it breaks this zone at 8900 definitely it is going to drop towards 8850 and then towards 8800 8750 which is going to be stronger support for crude oil remember it is trying to on the daily charts as i said higher highs has been seen now it is trying to form this uh channel here and probably only long entry is recommended once it breaks beyond uh, see if for the day if it breaks beyond 9200 don't forget to go long it is going to hit 9300 and then 9400 9500 can also be expected that is the level at which i will consider that as reversal also look at this it is trying to form the basis at higher levels now see 8600 then 8800 now 8900 so from 8900 as the base it is trying to probably continue with the rise however on the upside it is also forming resistance so don't take a trade between 8900 to 9200 i think these levels it may try to swing a bit but let's have a look see uh, stochastic is near to bottom and the uh, macd lines are still on sell now let's have a look at the four hour charts because minor time frame charts or uh, can better indicate which levels to take and how to trade on crude oil now on the four hour chart it appears see after uh, these four green candles it has taken a good uh, sharp red candle may continue with the second red candle or from here it can again continue to rise now the next resistance will come into picture at 91 20 91 30 zone so if it breaks this zone and uh, specifically 9200 definitely it is going to rise further because then it will fall back again in this channel and will try to hit 9300 levels however till the time it is below this we may see it ringing a bit also look at this it is it has not achieved the low here and only if it breaks 8900 i will expect it to drop else it can bounce back again so uh See also on the 4 hour charts it is trading below the 20 and 100 period moving average indicating that probably there is a little bearishness on the crude oil may try to achieve this zone at 88.50, 88.20, 88.30 and then it can drop to towards 87.50 also below that it is going to correct sharply remember below 87.50 it is going to correct sharply that is the expectation however my expectation from crude oil is that on the 4 hour chart it may try to retrace back a bit again uh, towards upside and may trade in between this zone at 9150 or 9200 to 8900 so take your positions accordingly uh, now let's have a look at uh, natural gas on the 4 hour charts ng has got its support there is a gap available here and there is a support coming into picture at 4400 uh, 60 70 zone here it is got this strong support for natural gas also the pivot at around 4550 levels will also come into picture also remember that on the 4 hour charts it is trading at the top of the bollinger bands so couple more observations see this was the rally the cons uh, consolidation drop and retracement drop again got the support intact at 4350 levels with the support at 43.50 it is trying to rise again so probably from here either it has to come back again here for the support and then bounce back or else if it breaks beyond this zone at 4600 remember as i said in my weekly analysis also 46.50 i'll be looking forward to beyond that it will try to hit 40 uh 700 and 4800 zone now this is on the uh, four hour charts also look at the stochastic is looking upward looking bullish and uh, there is a crossover on macd on a four hour charts now this is on the four hour charts now let's come back to the daily chart on the daily chart you will find that see now natural gas is trading beyond this channel and as i said in my weekly analysis also once it breaks this zone beyond 4450 you can take a long entry and rather as i had said clearly very uh, clearly that 4500 is the level to go long beyond that you can expect it to rise again till towards 4600 4750 and then 4820 levels so yes uh, you can remain long on uh, natural gas with the stop loss at 4500 or 4.5 dollars and you can expect it to rise towards 4700 4800 zone as it is breaking this channel i will expect a good bullish rise on natural gas probably but uh, 
my worry point is the levels in stochastic which is trading at the which is trading at the extremes here so yes any short entry on uh, natural gas is only below 4500 or 4.5 dollars if it drops below 4500 you can take a short entry there the next support will come into picture at 4, 44 uh, 20 levels which is going to be important support and breaking below this zone here if it breaks below this zone that is uh, 4380 definitely you, you can take a short entry for 40 uh 250 and 4200 levels so yes a uh, probable short entry can be taken in natural gas once it drops below 4500 or 4.5 dollars level then you can expect it to drop towards 44.2 and 43.8 these are going to be two critical support for natural gas or 4380 and 4450 uh, levels now 4420 levels now if it breaks below this zone yes definitely it may try to come back till towards 4200 and 4200 and below levels so take your positions accordingly however till the time today it remains above 4500 you can remain long so any long entry can be taken but keep your stop losses at 4500 below that it can break because see the uh, indicators are near to overbought and can try to shed a bit but however on the daily charts there is a crossover on macd that is important there is a crossover on macd which is taking place then that is why also i said that it is also breaking this channel and uh, probably now trading beyond 4500 levels it can see a good rise towards 4700 4800 and 5000 levels can also be seen on natural gas you can take your positions accordingly now let's move towards nifty 50 see nifty trading at 17 180 levels in the global markets and as i said in the my weekly analysis also that only if it breaks beyond 17 350 i will recommend you to go long probably it is trying to hit this zone at 17 300 on the daily charts there is a strong resistance between 17 280 to 17 380 if you see it breaking this zone then only i will recommend so uh, if it breaks 17 320 today yes you can go long there then you can expect 17 4 40 levels and in fact can head towards 17500 but till the time it remains below this zone at 17280 to 17320 probably it can again retrace back how far it could drop it can again come back till towards 17100 and below levels so a probable trading zone for nifty 50 today can be limited and can be in between 172820 zone to 17100 levels now one more observation that see on the daily charts there was a little gap this we can see as it has seen a gap down opening on the charts it has filled this gap and now can try to cover this candles high now as we saw in the weekly charts that yes it may see a high there and can continue to drop later in the week and hence if you see it sustaining below this zone at uh 17 280 320 yes you can take a short entry at those levels i think that is going to good provide you good profit if it tries to remain below but the stop loss has to be strictly at 17 325 330, 330 levels beyond that it is going to act extremely bullish and will hit 17 400 17 500 zone so any long entry i will recommend only beyond 17 330 levels beyond that definitely it will try to rise now this is couple more observation and if you look at the stochastic is comfortable r uh, macd lines are still on sell and rsi is still trading at bottom now let's have a look at the four hour charts on the four hour charts you'll find that uh, see on the four hour charts nifty 50 has got its resistance here at somewhere 17220 so once it breaks 17220 today you can take a long entry for 17 240 280 and then 350 zone till here it is got a stronger resistance only breaking this zone i will expect it to trade in a bullish channel hence probably it may try to hit it once it breaks 17 220 and 2 220 levels definitely it may try to hit 17 240 20 points after 17 240 it is got 40 points it may head towards 17 280 then 17 320 and 350 will come into picture now till here nifty 50 has got a stronger resistance at every level probably if you see trading near 17 300 350 levels you can take a short entry there 
remember near to 17300 350 if you see it trading if it rises sharply towards the beginning you can take a short entry there at 17300 350 so possibly it may try to hit this zone at 17 to 80 350 and from there it can try to retrace a big the next uh, support on the downside will be same if it achieves 17 300 350 it will get a support at 17 3 to 280 240 for the next drop and below 240 it will try to come back till towards 17 200 which is going to be the next support below that we might see it coming to 17 150 and 17 100 levels take your positions accordingly a probable trading zone for the day is between 17100 or rather i will say 17050 to 17350 it can take you can take your positions accordingly now also look at look at the 4 hour chart the stochastic is trading at bottom and hence probably we may see a little rise our MACD lines are trying to converge and that is why i say probable rise can be expected go long at 17220 for 17240 17280 17320 and 17350 levels Take your positions accordingly from there at 17300 350 you can again try to enter a short probably it may try to retrace a bit till, till towards 17 220 levels so this is all for nifty 50 take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at us 30. now today us 30 uh cash or spot market is however it is widely traded across brokers across markets across indices uh, and across geographies it is widely traded beyond the cash market also and that is why you can see right now uh us 30 is trading at 34 250 levels and this is the high which it is already seen there is a support at 33 900 33 850 levels which is it has taken now with the support at 33 850 it is trying to rise only once it breaks this zone at 33 270 34 270 you can go long for 34 400 remember it has got its resistance at 34 400 and 500 levels trading below beyond which definitely it may rise strongly at the same time we might see it trading in between these levels this range also that is 33 950 to 34,300 levels probably so almost these 350 points we have to be very cautious here in between these 350 points however look at the uh dpo is trying to enter into red the stochastic on the four hour charts may try to cross over towards a buy side and rsi uh, macd lines are trying to converge but let's have a look at the daily chart what does the daily charts are indicating on the daily charts you can find with the support at 33950 it is trying to rise here it has got its support at 33950 seen the low here almost formed a double bottom trying to rise now also look at the daily charts so one thing probably here is it has taken the support here it may try to achieve this uh, high at around 34400 but only long entry i will recommend is beyond 34400 as i say, shared in my weekly charts also beyond 34400 we can expect it to hit 34500 2550 zone and beyond that definitely it will try to fly, fly towards 34 uh, 600 750 and 800 levels now this zone at 35000 is very important for us 30 if it continues to rise that may provide a stronger resistance but for the day till the time it remains about 33950 and 34 uh, 300 levels we have to be very cautious in between these 350 points beyond 34300 we may see it rising little uh, look at the stochastic as seen a bottom here and now trying to rise and probably from here we may see us 30 rising a bit and coming uh, bringing the stochastic to comfortable levels probably we may see a greener uh, candle today and yes if it breaks 34 300 you can still remain long also uh, any drop till 33 950 is a good level to go long on us 30 it will definitely try to rise and probably we may see 34 400 34 520 levels soon on us 30 if not today because the spot market is closed we may see it tomorrow itself so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at us 100 similarly on the daily charts on us 100 as i said uh in my weekly analysis also that 13800 should provide a resistance today the candle has almost gone close to 13800 level with the support at 13800 it is trying to rise and remember it is oversold on stochastic and hence a probably it may try to retrace back a bit now look at this whenever it has happened it has retraced at least to have this candle size and if you continue look at this drop 
probably it may try to come back till towards 14 250 levels this level it may try to 14300 level this level it may try to achieve and a good long entry beyond that will definitely try to take it towards 14500 levels right now it has taken a support at 13800 and with that support it is trying to rise the first target is near to 14100 and then it will try to probably trade tomorrow towards 14300 levels for the day, I expect that it may try to remain or limit itself between 13800 to 14100. Beyond 14100, we may see it heading towards 14200 and 14250 levels. These levels are going to be important for uh, US 100 today. But this is on the four hour chart, uh, in on the daily charts. We will also look at the four hour charts. See, all the indicators on the daily charts are almost oversold. Look at uh, whether be it stochastic, whether be it MACD, which is on sold sell side. So probably we may see a reversal, but look at the 4 hour charts on the 4 hour charts. See, this is the uh, channel in which it is trading. It is trying to give a breakout and also always see it may try to remain below this zone, remain below this zone also 14,250,300 if it breaks and probably rises beyond 14,250. Yes, that is the time I will consider this as bullish. Probably it may try to hit 14. Uh, 350 400 zone and then beyond that 14 500 which is going to be a stronger resistance for uh, uh, US 100 that is 14 500 to 600 it can continue to rise if not today then tomorrow possibly it may continue to rise till those levels and then drop later right now it has got its support at 13 uh, 13 800 is stronger support and with that support it is rising uh, the next target is for uh, US 100 is 14,150, then 14,240, 14,240, and below that, beyond that, it will try to hit 14,350 and 400 levels. Beyond that, it will definitely fly high. So, take your positions accordingly. We may see it trading in between this zone that is 14,150 to 13,800 for the day. It can retrace back a bit, a bit later today. So, for the day, 14,150 should be the high, or beyond that, definitely it will fly. And it may get a support at 13,800 and 14,000 levels. So take your positions accordingly. Now let's have a look at FTSE 100. Now as shared in my weekly analysis or for FTSE 100, this zone at 7460, 7480 has again become crucial. It has given a strong support for FTSE 100 for the drop. Now see this 20 period exponential average trying to give it a resistance that is at around 75. 40 levels once it breaks 7540 the next target is 7560 7550 to 60 zone now this is again going to be a stronger resistance at 7560 if it breaks this then definitely it will fly towards 7580 and beyond that sky is the limit it will head towards 7600 and plus plus levels now for the detailed understanding you can definitely watch my weekly analysis for 400 and germany 40 now look at the stochastic is trying to cross on the upward side probably we may see couple more bullish candle on FTSE 100 and it can continue to rise the MACD on 4 hour charts are trying to cross over now look at the daily charts on the daily charts you will find that the next resistance for the FTSE 100 at 7560 now this is the 20 period moving average here it may get a stronger resistance for any further rise so probably once it breaks 7540 it will definitely try to hit 7560 and beyond that we might see 7590 levels on FTSE 100 take your positions accordingly on the downside for the day uh, 7480 is a very strong support till the time it remains above 7480 we can uh, again expect it to rise till towards 7540 and 7560 7560 definitely to provide a very strong resistance beyond that it will definitely fly also look at the uh, the trended price oscillator trying to enter into green stochastic was trading at bottom trying to enter into green MACD lines are trying to converge probably a little rise till 7560 can be expected on FTSE 100 and beyond that it will try to fly towards 7580 uh, I will be skeptical of any rise beyond 7580 or 7600 levels so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at Germany 40 Germany 40 on the daily charts as I said in my weekly analysis also it is got its support at 14900 also look at this the highs it may try to come back till this zone at 15400 and 15300 now on the daily charts this zone between 15220 to 15300 this is going to be a stronger resistance zone for Germany 40 
probably though it can try to achieve this zone before trying to take a drop but yes uh see if you see it trading beyond here at 70 15 150 definitely it will try to head towards 15 220 and 15 300 these two levels are very important if it breaks beyond 15 180 yes you can take a long entry for 15 220 250 and 300 levels and beyond that it may try to hit 15 400 any break beyond 15 400 that is definitely a stronger signal for germany 40 to rise towards 14 6, uh, 15 600 levels but for the day the support is at 14 900 and if it breaks 14 900 then only i will recommend you to go short else it may continue to rise towards 15 300 levels that is the target and beyond 15 300 only we can expect it to continue the bullish momentum else it can take a rise today and drop from tomorrow onwards very much possible now look at the uh, look at the detended price oscillator trying to enter into green and uh, stochastic is far to cross over hence uh, still showing some bearish indication on germany uh, FTSE, uh, germany 40 levels now macd lines are still on sell and the rsi is trading at bottom so what could happen probably today is with the support at 15000 first support it may try to rise and enter or hit at 15 220 and 300 levels these two levels it may or it can achieve today so yes you can take a long entry beyond 15 180 we can expect it to hit 15 220 and 300 levels this is going to be a very strong resistance at 15 300 beyond that you can expect that it has broken the channel it can try towards 15 400 the next high and from there tomorrow onwards or day after tomorrow onwards we will see how it behaves at 15 400 that is going to be a very strong resistance in my weekly analysis also i told the same thing that uh, the only long entries on the daily charts for a positional on the week for the week is recommended beyond 15 400 till the time it remains below 15 400 you can again expect it to drop but yes it has got a stronger support at 4900 levels and most of the indicators are trading on the bottom so probably we may see a little rise now coming back to the four hour charts as i had said 4900 the strong support for the day and yes 15050 15000 level, levels are also going to be a strong support also you can see uh now if it breaks this zone at 15 200 see 15 200 very strong resistance now you can see 20 period and 100 period moving average between 15 200 to 300 zone this zone is very important for FTSE 100 uh, Germany 40 if it breaks beyond this zone at 15 300 definitely that is a case to be considered for a you for one to go moderately bearish or rather you can say neutral stance one can take a neutral stance in between this zone and don't expect that it is going to drop or going to rise but go with the flow beyond 15 300 we can mod be moderately bullish and beyond 15 500 we will be extremely bullish but right now it appears that this zone at 15 200 to 300 will provide it a stronger resistance and with the support at 15000 levels and 14900 today it can continue to rise we can expect it to hit 15 220 15 300 zone in between somewhere before it may try to retrace back a bit tomorrow onwards so this is all for my side for germany 40 and global markets and commodities if you like and appreciate my effort please don't forget to like share subscribe and comment don't forget to press the bell icon you can join my telegram channel you can join also my mentorship course the next batch will be starting in may march onwards also you can be part of the my premium telegram group thank you very much reach out to me for any of your trading or training related queries thank you very much have a great profitable trading day thank you